Hi guys, welcome to the video where we discuss the season two or the season three changes. All right, so these are all cards. Uh, this is talking about the off-season leaderboards, but that's not what we are here for. We are looking at these things. Game mechanics and card adjustments. Here are some changes on the game mechanics. Changes being implemented. Uh, Blood Moon will, will, will begin one turn earlier. Grievous Wound will deal pure damage. Very nice. Leaf Bug has been, in has been increased to 4 HP per stack. Cuckoos will stack normally. Only one consumed per sleep prevented. And also there was an errata in Twitter. Uh, you can only use one cuckoo buff at a time. You can't use all cuckoo buffs at the same time anymore. So there's no one hit KO capability. But you still get a pretty decent damage buff for cuckoo. Next up we have Cocoon. Gain 12 shield regardless of stack turns into gain 4 shield per stack. I think this is a buff. Once you get over 4, you will get more value out of Cocoon. Because most Cocoon stuff already give 3 anyway, right? So the 12 shield is... I guess it stays or it's not affected at all. In fact, once you have 10 Cocoon buffs, you get 40 shield at the start, not just 12. Which is uh, that is on top of the the effect of cocoon that retains fifty percent of the shield or five percent per stack, right? So that's a very big buff. Mushroom has also been buffed. It now heals to maximum HP instead of the remaining HP. And Robin has been nerfed. Increased damage by three now and caps at ninety. So that's a pretty hefty nerf. All right, bug fixes. Turn will no longer automatically end after using Winghorn while gaining Feather Daggers. Cursed Ritual is now capped as described. Conversion to Bubble Bomb is properly handled when gaining multiple bubbles, so no more 4 plus 2 equals 5. I'm sure Mr. Albuquerque is very happy about that. Anemone properly resets when used together with Glorious Mane. Bubble Bomb is no longer affected by weak. I'm sure lots of bubble players are happy with that. Cards with selection screens properly resolve when no selection is made and the timer runs out or the player disconnects. Uh, this part I'm not so sure. Hey, Staring Bunny. Yes, we're going through them now. Uh, most of them are good except for one. But we'll get to that. Using Nerdy, Clear, or Pink Cheek with less than two cards in your hand and draw pile is properly handled. There's also an errata on this. It can't cycle your deck for you. You need to have at least two cards in your draw pile for these cards to work. So the previous use of using this card to cycle to force a cycle is no longer available all right sacred feather heals for the correct amount piranha no longer bypasses <clears throat> sacred feathers thank you so much thank you so much i've lost so many games because of this bug so many games anyway Winghorn now checks the target's HP before dealing damage. That's a very big change. Uh, this, so what Winghorn used to do was that it damages and then it checks if the trash if the target is below sixty percent HP. So now it checks sixty percent HP before it gives out feather daggers. That's a very big change. That's the difference between getting six and getting four feather daggers. Very very important distinction there. Innocent Lamb cannot copy itself using Magic Side. Now that's a weird bug and I'm glad that wasn't abused in Ladder because uh, yeah, there's a few shenanigans you can do in there with Bumpy. Anyway, let's move on to the card adjustment. So this is a very big list. All right, uh, we are, there's a lot of changes here. 53 changes that we're going to look at and we're gonna go through all of it. Well, 50 changes. And we're going to go through all of them one by one. First off, we have Sponge. Sponge has been changed. Base shield is now 50. It's, uh, I think it's still pretty good. It's going to make them less tanky, but it's okay. Uh, the, the card or the effect is still very strong. Just a little less shield for all of the, all of the aquas in the Sponge team. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Next up is Nemo Ears. Now this is a huge change. Removing one base energy fragment from the effect. So this part has been removed. 
Oh, I can't select it. But yeah, this gain one energy fragment clause has been removed. That means there, yeah, aquas cannot gain energy burst by round two anymore. And that's a very, very important distinction. Sponge teams cannot gain uh, burst one by round two anymore. This is big. This is huge. All right, next up, clear eyes. Uh, if your draw pile has no less than two cards, draw two cards, then this card to unstable. So it was just uh, a, an, it was a change on what it can do. Now I mentioned this earlier. Uh, clear eyes, you need two cards on your on your draw pile for you to use it. So if you draw this card on your last hand before your deck resets, it's basically a dead draw. It's on one hand the swirls are gone. On the other, it's kind of a, a risky, very risky card to play now. Uh, you have three chances to draw it before it becomes a dead card. Ba that's basically it. Alright, next up is Koi. Koi damage has been reduced from 140 to 135. Thank you. My backliner bird is rejoicing right now. That nerf is actually not that much, but, you know... That's the difference between surviving with 5 HP or just dying outright. Next up is Navaga. Alright, we're going to skip this part and just go specifically here. Fragments required has been reduced from 30 to 25 and it can be targeted on any ally. That's actually a huge change. Being able to target the Navaga opens up so many things and uh, it's too big brain for me. There's so many things that can be done with this. It can be used on, on offensive axes. It can, it can be used on sustained axes. It can be used on curse axes. Oh boy, there is so many possible combinations with this. So yeah, that's up to people that are much smarter than I to figure out. But yeah, this, is, uh, this opens up a lot of stuff. Next up, we have Belieber. The change rage consumed has been increased to 3 and the damage percent bonus has been reduced to 30. So you need 3 rage now and you deal at most 90% bonus damage. And I think that's a good change because yeah, Belieber's at the start of a season, it's just way too oppressive. It's too strong, especially if you have way of beasts. You already have the requirement you get to do 90 twice so that's 180 damage on one energy without having to do a setup unless you count way of beast as a setup but you know that's a little too strong a little too strong i'm glad that it got toned down not that it was particularly strong in the mystic era but believer is more of a rare era epic era kind of card and this will tone it down i'm okay with that next up innocent lamb now this is a very big change Innocent Lamb no longer copies charms, and a lot of builds were were banking off of that. People used to copy uh, Cottontail and put White Sage on it, so you have two sources of cleanse for free. Now that's no longer possible, and also that I'm I'm also a bit hit by this nerf because I do use Innocent Lamb to copy my my cloud that gives an extra uh, with the feather fan charm so that's one less feather for my team but uh, it's okay I'll, I'll, I'll survive I'll live I'll, I'll learn to adapt All right next up is puppy puppy has been buffed it's no longer one effect it's now always the two effects uh, it's a cute little change uh, I don't think it's gonna make it revolutionary or anything but it's a it's a nice nice effect goda now this this one here is a game changer goda now instantly removes one energy fragment on top of putting a void in your opponent's discard pile this is actually huge if you have a triple goda team you can pre basically prevent your opponent if your opponent doesn't have any way to ramp up they basically won't ever get energy burst this is actually strong actually strong next up is cottontail it has been nerfed instead of seven heal it now is five heal 
and it's now an unstable card instead of a banished card so it's a deserved nerf cottontail is just way too good uh well in the in its previous in uh previous iteration it's just way too good way too good uh this is a much needed nerf it needed to be balanced and yeah this uh this is a good way to to remove some of the power of aggro decks without really changing much of anything else aggro decks still need a cottontail that is 100 guaranteed they absolutely need cottontail and yeah this will slow them down this will slow them down a lot all right gerbil out of defect bonus 15 damage if the target doesn't have secret i i still don't know gerbil is uh, i mean okay it can now either it's a target any card that's a good thing it's 55 base damage which is awful it can remove one random secret from the target which is nice but not always effective but now if the target doesn't have any secrets it now deals 70 damage so you have a 70 damage target any card i still wouldn't take this over cottontail honestly i don't i don't know i, I still don't think that it's a nice change for sure 70 damage base is pretty good but i don't think this is enough to to choose it over much stronger tails there's just way too many strong tails for this to matter i think maybe in the full backdoor team question mark i don't know maybe maybe next up we have hair deal 5 bonus damage is now deal 10 bonus damage okay now with with the at the start of epic era everyone now puts retain they put scotch tape they put sticky octopus they put sticky lizard almost everyone uses some form of retain starting the epic era so plus 10 bonus damage for each that's quite hefty it's quite hefty now this might be a good change once people start getting retain cards in epic era but in rare era not so much and the hair the hair change i think is very very nice i'd still pick hair over gerbil for example even though i'm not guaranteed that bonus damage i still would pick up hair next up we have king fisher it used to be limit one now it has no limit Again, this ties in to what I said earlier. If you guys remember, Novaga is a thing. Novaga is a thing. If you can find a way to cycle all of your Kingfishers. Mm, mm. But right now, it's too much of a meme unless someone optimizes it. But yeah, this, this can be a thing in the future. Might be a thing. All right, Pigeon Post has been nerfed. Hey, hey town welcome to the stream yeah we're going through them now all right next we have a pigeon post it has been nerfed it requires initial for the blackmail card to be put in the draw pile otherwise it goes into the discard pile so yeah it's it's been nerfed it, it definitely been nerfed so if you're still trying to lock out opponents or you can't put you can't put three blackmails in your opponent's deck anymore so i think that's a very very good change uh triple pigeon post is not as strong but if you are lucky or if you always get your pigeon post sequentially like you get one per turn you can permanently taunt the backliner of your opponent so it, you know there's a bit of luck involved in this but yeah i'm, I'm very thankful that i don't get three blackmails from my opponent's three put pigeon posts Next up, a tri feather has been nerfed. It is now base damage twenty. Uh, it's now base damage seventeen. All right, so I can see the logic behind this. Uh, if the tri feather Axie already has a feather, uh, it ends up at base twenty anyway. So I think this is a nice change. I'm not sure if tri feather was the card to nerf for AOE or for for feathers, but you know, it is what it is. Ah uh, yes, Unami. I'm I'm very aware, and yes, uh, you are the person I was thinking of when I said that comment. <laughs> Sorry for your loss, dude. 
But it is what it is. Alright, next up. Pink Cheek. Draw two cards and discard two cards. So same as clear, you need at least two cards in your draw pile to use this. Otherwise, it's a dead card. Eggshell has been nerfed. Not sure why. But what happens now, it's the buff duration is now reduced to three. So what happens is you use Eggshell, you get the buff. On that turn, you get to shield your summons. Your opponent's turn starts. And then uh, your turn starts again. You get the shield again. But I don't know why they made it di like this. But the only thing I can think of is that this can't be used to buffer against dispels anymore. Because I was using Eggshell to, to hopefully, maybe, bait out some Arandas or some... Uh, what do you call that? The, the Scaly Spoons. So... Yeah. This is a weird nerf. I most people won't even notice this. Very few people would notice a change. So mm, it's a eh, whatever, whatever kind of change. All right, next is Hungry Bird. Now this is a very very interesting change. It has no drawbacks anymore, and it's not initial anymore either. So what it uh, it lost some of the steel, but it. Yeah, the, the effect it gained is much, much better now. All right, so it used to be if initial steal 20 HP, apply heal block to self. Now it's steal 15 HP without the initial. And it removes up to two curse cards from your deck. This is actually pretty interesting. Again, uh, maybe curses might be a thing. Maybe they won't. But if you are using a degrade heavy deck, uh, once the epic era comes along hungry bird is a nice card so that way you can you get to keep your plus 10 percent effect from your holy prayer if holy prayer will still exist we don't know if holy prayer will still exist in the next season maybe it will maybe it won't but yeah hungry bird very nice buzz buzz has been changed attack all enemies all right so let's let's go over this so uh, effect applies to both discarded and banished cards. Damage bonus has been increased to 6 and the cap is increased to 30. It's still a pretty bad card though. Still a pretty bad card. Alright, so what this says is that at most you need you can deal 50 damage with Buzz Buzz, not counting effects like feathers or whatever what what whatever else uh, effects you have. So the base damage is 20, it can be added to whatever, but the the bonus damage that you get from this is 30. So what this is saying is that after you use 5 cards, you get plus 30 damage on your Buzz Buzz. Most decks that run Buzz Buzz cannot use 5 cards. Per so I, I don't know, is this actually a good card? Is this actually a good card? I don't know. Most decks that would use Buzz Buzz are going to have low energy gain. I I really don't know. It doesn't look all that good to me. No, uh yes, Lunami. But it says this turn. It's this turn. It says this turn. Sure, you can use antenna, but antenna is banished, right? So you, you only get to use that once. And you have to draw antenna and buzz buzz in the same hand. It, it still feels underwhelming to me. I still miss the daze effect from buzz buzz. It still feels very weak. It still feels very weak. Yeah, this is not... It's still not going to replace Earwing. Right, even if... Alright, earring has been changed, the, a damage cap has been specified. So the thing is, uh, cap at 30 bonus damage, but the thing is, a hand size, maximum hand size in Axie is 10. So there is no way for you to go over 30 bonus damage anyway. Even here, so... I guess they just specified it, it wasn't really a change. Earring still does exactly what it does. But the the cap is specifically indicated, so it's neither a nerf or a buff. It's just more information, which I don't know is is it really needed anyway? 
I guess just to be consistent with Buzz Buzz, I guess. Yeah, anyway. Let's move on. Uh, next up, we have Larva. Scry two cards. If you discard at least one skill or secret card when scrying, gain two energy fragments and then vanish. So the change was it used to only apply to skills. Now it also applies to secret cards. So yeah, eh, I guess it's a nice change. Do you want to discard the secret card though? Mm. I don't know. Maybe I do. Maybe I won't. But yeah. Next up, we have Tassels. The change has been is that it cannot target any ally. It doesn't have to be itself, but it has been weakened. You only get 35% shield conversion. So, hmm. Tassels has been weakened. I don't know. Maybe since you can target an Axie with six shield cards, maybe it's a thing now instead of just lim being limited to five because of Tassels. But I don't know. Hmm. Maybe the 5% is a little too high, I don't know. I've seen some Tassels players complain about this, but I personally have no experience, so yeah, let's just move on. Next up, Neo has been buffed. It now Instead of looking at the top 3 cards, it now looks at the top 4 cards. That's, uh, that's a big change. That's a big change. You have one more chance to discard one of your opponent's key cards. So Neo, strong buff. All right, nerdy exactly same as pink cheek and clear so we can skip that parasite has also been buffed instead of top two cards it's now top three cards and it's an attack card that does not get banished so it stays there it stays there so you're right lunami but you know you still have to draw parasite and buzz buzz on the same hand which may or may not always happen all right, next we are looking at Biden. Biden is now 60 heal up from 40. Holy moly. Very nice. 50% bonus. Very strong. Rosa, and here we go. Oh boy. All right. It now randomly deals two hits and each hit applies sleep for three turns. This is so bad. It has no drawbacks. You just use it and it happens. It's really, really bad. It's so awful because we've already seen this happen in Season 0, guys. This has already happened. We've seen this happen before. Aggro teams use two attack cards and then end their turn with Rosa with no drawback to them. And this can happen. This can... This can... If, you, if your opponent draws Rosa on turn 1, they absolutely have zero counterplay. How can you react to something when you can't when you don't even get to play yet? And if it so happens that the the axi you draw cards on the axi that is asleep, you absolutely get no value from it. This is really really bad. This is so awful. I hope this gets changed because this is really bad. I mean, I can show you Lunami showed us content from Mr. Alwiki earlier. He was molding bad. You know, when people say they would rather play against a toxic team from last season than play with this, you know it's bad. Robocop was saying he would rather play against Swirl than play against a Rosa spammer. That's... That's... <laughs> Yeah, that's that's really bad. I hope this gets changed. This is not good. Not good at all. Please, Sky Mavis, Hail, Jadster, if you're listening, please change this. This is not good. Not good at all. It there has to be a drawback. Random is not a drawback. You are guaranteed a hard disable. Well, not really hard. They can remove it, but this is this has to be. This has to be changed. There is absolutely no, no drawback for the Rosa user. All right, let's move on. Next up, Sakura. Uh, it is now changed. It now heals eight per turn, uh, per per action or per card use instead of seven, which is a welcome change. Not groundbreaking or anything. Just a little nice change. I don't know if it's enough to to replace Innocent Lamb over the ear spot. But I guess it's nice. It's nice for keeping one Axie alive. Next we have Poppy. Poppy has been reworked. It's such a nice change. I really like this change. So it doesn't apply Leaf 
on draw anymore what it does is applies two leaves when used and applies one leaf per retain cap a tree turns or tree bonus leaves so this is this works like tiny dino where if you let it build up across one turn the next time you draw it, it will still give five bonus leaves so there is a reliable way of gaining leaves now instead of just clover and boons and charms so i really like this change this is a very very amazing for leafy teams because they don't have to rely on boons and charms anymore and they don't have to rely on clover which is a, a summon that easily dies with all of the aoe from 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 last season so i, I really like this very nice change reliable leaf on demand i like this a lot right rosebud has been buffed it now applies two cleansers instead of one you can use this to block maybe rosa but how can you tell which actually is going to get hit by rosa <laughs> so but yeah I've, I've been using this uh my mid dawn has a uh, rosebud and it's really good i I, I use it a lot against uh, poison teams and against bleed teams it works so well that most of my opponents don't even bother attacking my 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 carry anymore because they know they'll just get cleansers over and over so i like this change a lot very nice buff all right this has been reworked a strawberry shortcake now has 40 base heal which is nice and it can now target any ally so two energy a 40 heal which is great and there's more to this later on but we'll, we'll get to that when we get there it's near the end of the file and we're, we're almost there but let's, let's go through the rest all right watermelon target any enemy if the target has sleep apply 15 bonus damage and apply c for five turns <laughs> so you rose up first and then you apply watermelon, a deal 80 damage, and then put that target to sleep for mm, five more turns. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> but we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Herbivore. Deal 15 HP to self. The target has sleep. Apply sleep for five turns. Yeah, mm. Mm, I'd really rather not. Notice that all of the sleep cards are target any enemy. Granted that you have to put the target to sleep first, which is uh, if you don't draw, if you draw watermelon and herb before first, their effects are wasted. But if you have three roses and only you know you have a really good chance, I, this is just just no. I really rather not. Hmm. I mean, these are okay because they they have a requirement. It's you have to set it up. Rosa is just use it and it's there. You get full benefit every time. Even if you hit the same axie twice, it doesn't matter. You still make your opponent lose one energy, right? Unless they're super lucky and they don't draw on that axie on their next turn. But even then, it's it's too oppressive. Rosa, come on, it has to change. All right, next up, a Silence Whisper. A lot of poison players are rejoicing. Silence Whisper has been reduced from six turns to three. And the base heal has been increased to compensate. And the heal per poison stack has been uh, changed from one to three. But I don't think it's, uh, it's enough. So what happens now is that if you use Silence Whisper, that's on your turn. And then your opponent's turn starts, that's two ticks. And then you're on your turn again. All right, if you're already poisoned, Silence Whisper does nothing on that turn. And then on your opponent's turn, they can poison you more. And then on your turn, that's the only time Silence Whisper will take effects. So it, this is a very big nerf, huge nerf. I don't know if uh, if this is enough to make poison players propagate again but this is a very big nerf you only get heal from silence whisper once now so yeah poison players are happy 
Uh, I have I have rosebud, so I'm I'm still I'm still on equal footing with poison. But let's see how how poison adapts to this change because yeah, Berlin was very happy about this. All right, next change, carrot. Another change that I'm happy about. All right, gain one energy fragment, bonus one more if the Axie's HP isn't full. So you don't get four fragments anymore, but the bonus two more if your attack breaks an enemy shield is super hard it's really hard most aggro teams don't use shield and even if you do use shield it's hard to gauge if your attack will break or not so i like this change uh you gain one less fragment but you are almost guaranteed to get one as long as you use this on a target that isn't full hp i like this change a lot super nice change very very nice Next up, Potato Leaf. Target any ally. Uh, next turn, if the target's attack, apply Sleep to the target for 3 turns. So, no change there. The, what was changed was... It's not limit 1 anymore. Oh boy. It's not limit 1. Okay, so this part I'm confused about. Does it stack by turn? Or does it stack by effects? Uh, this is something that needs to be looked at. Because if I attack once and I'm sleep for 6 turns, holy moly, boy is that dangerous. But what if what happens is I attack, I wake it up, and then I attack again, I'm asleep twice. That's even worse. I don't know how, how to feel about this, but in either case, I hope it stacks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this... Oh. I don't like sleep. I don't like the sleep effect. It's a uh, little too strong but you know it's a new archetype maybe it becomes meta maybe it doesn't but yeah there are ways around sleep for sure but let's see how it plays out this one is a uh, an interesting change it's a good change for for sustain teams for sure but as, as an aggro player i don't like this oh boy i don't like this at all Anyway, let's move on. Uh, swirl! Yes! Yes! Oh, uh, yes, a town. Go ahead. Uh, it's two sleep. So, what do you mean by two sleep? Like, six turns of sleep? Because uh, this applies sleep for three turns. So, do you mean six sleep? Or two separate attacks will, uh, will get... If you attack, you get sleeped, and then if you attack with a different axe, you get sleeped again. Is that what you mean? Which one? Yeah, Swirl is gone. Good riddance. Holy moly. What well, boy was that? Mm, 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 mm. Alright, so Swirl has been nerfed. Instead of Shuffle 2, it is now Shuffle 1. It's been changed to have 60 heal, but it was never used for the heal anyway. Ah, I see Aton. Two separate sleeps. We need testing. We need confirmation. Uh, if, if we can get some testing done, we will have a better understanding of Potato Leaf. But either way, this is a nice change for sustained teams. Awful change for, for aggro teams like me. Or aggro players like me. Anyway, let's move on. Alright. Yeah, so Swirl was never used for the heal. I mean, it's a nice effect, but people used Swirl to put the two confused cards in your opponent's pile. So, good ridden Swirl. I hope I never see another Swirl comp ever again. It's just... Mm, no. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Alright. Let's move on to the next. A Topaz has been changed. Base damage has improved to 30. And the damage per banished card has been improved to 15. Now, Topaz has a lot more damage capability. It's now a 150 bonus, 150 damage card after you disc after you put six card banished cards. So, is that doable now? How doable is that? Six banished cards in the first cycle. Is that doable? What do you guys think? Is six banished cards in the first cycle doable? Like, if your opponent is a curse team, for sure you'll get it, right? But if you're using Topaz, you can't use Holy Prayer because the the curse cards are 
absolutely removed from the game so you can't use topaz as a holy prayer uh you can't use holy prayer rune when you're using topaz so and maybe it's doable it, with all the degrade coming in i think you can get it by the second cycle right at least two degrades per axie so that you draw topaz faster i mean e you can even go triple topaz maybe for 150 damage per card uh maybe it's a possibility maybe it's a lot nicer than what it was for sure so you don't need 12 curse cards you can you just need a six so yeah i think it's a lot stronger now maybe it's fast enough now to be relevant in the meta i think yeah Right, Bumpy has been changed, it can now target any ally and now gains 8 shield per card used. I like this change, I can, I have a Bumpy on the front, I can actually use the Bumpy on my backliner if I'm facing against a backdoor team, which is nice. Not game changing or anything, but it's a, it's a nice, it's nice. Alright, Sarastis, same as Kingfisher, the limit has been removed. So time will tell if this is actually going to develop into an archetype or not. Alright, next up, Snake Yard. Now this is a big change, big change. If the target Axie used to be 200, which is uh, when Axies have 400 base HP, it now goes over to uh, like half HP. But now it's oh the target or the threshold is now under 300 hp which is a lot more achievable in the first cycle this is very very strong for snake jar players uh, i saw some people that mentioned that snake jar might be a good replacement for uh what do you call that for gila this is a one energy heal that can potentially deal 100 damage to all enemy axes which is uh, mm, it's a it's better than it's better than Gila for sure because it's less energy. It it's actually a heal. It keeps your axes alive. So maybe Snake Jar Poison Teams might become a thing. Maybe. Maybe it will become a thing. Sure, I mean, Gila is still strong, but again, this is a heal, it's only one energy. It allows for more flexible plays. They're full of arts. But yeah, noted, noted. The increase to. You know, actually, most of the time, I. Most Gila players just use their Gila when, when all the enemy axes have at least 15 stacks. So I've never actually seen a Gila player use it on 40 stacks. So I don't know. I don't know, full of arts. Anyway, let's move on. Cuckoo. Stacks normally and only one stack is consumed when triggered. So I'm glad that they put the errata here because uh, the the change or the cuckoo description over here is not very descriptive. Uh, this thing. This is not very descriptive. So I'm glad that they put the errata here. Uh, this was tweeted out by Hale. I, I saw that tweet. So I'm glad that they put it here. All right, Grievous Wound now deals pure damage. Pure damage. This is such a good change. So what happened before was people were shielding Grievous Wound so that they their axes don't die to Grievous Wound and bleed. But now that it deals pure damage, it's so much stronger. So much stronger. And this is needed because... With people teching to prevent sleep or preventing Rosa meta, uh, cleansers and cleanse will be more prevalent. So Grievous Wounds definitely needs the help. That's that's definitely a thing that needs to be updated. Uh, why not? Desina is going to be a sleeper. Uh, no, 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 no sleep puns. No sleep puns. I don't. I don't like sleep. <laughs> I I can appreciate the joke, A Town, but no 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 we don't do that here. <laughs> All right, cocoon, cocoon uh, game mechanic change again. It's most cocoon cards or cocoon effects already give tree, so you you don't ever go below the twelve shield per stack anyway. So I think overall this is a big buff. This is a very big buff. I like the cocoon change. This will make sustained teams stronger much to my dismay <laughs> as an aggro player 
<laughs> but it is what it is. I like the change. It's good. It's a good change for Cocoon. All right, leave. Uh, we've been through this. Uh, heal stack it goes up to four instead of three. So when you have five leaf stacks, that's twenty heal. It may or may not be super groundbreaking or anything, but that's the difference between surviving at one HP and dying. So you know, I like this change. All right, burn. Burn is now also pure damage. It cannot be blocked by shields anymore. So yeah, curses are getting stronger. All right, Blood Moon. It's now it starts at turn 16. So what this means is that instead of Blood Moon starting on the odd turns, it now starts at the even turns. That means player two starts Blood Moon instead of player one. Now most teams or uh, most aggro teams don't really care but if you are a blood moon player or if you play for blood moon that's a very big distinction uh, so it swaps your need from starting from turn one to turn two or vice versa depending on the strategy so overall i think this makes the game a little bit faster because game ends at 24 instead of 25 no so hmm. i i we save, I don't know, maybe an overall 10 seconds or 60 seconds per game. I think that's a good change. Alright, Mushroom has been changed. It now heals based on max HP instead of remaining HP. Which is, uh, yeah. No one was using Mushroom at all. Not because it was a bad card, but because of all the AoE that existed. I'm not sure if this is enough to make Mushroom better or make it more appealing but we'll see we'll see all right robin has been nerfed it now caps at 90 damage and now increments by three which is a much needed change uh i even uh, i i use robin but when my opponents use robin holy moly do i do i dread do i dread it's like a ticking time bomb and aoe teams use robins better than than owls can so yeah I'm, I'm okay with this change. It's it's needed. It's a much needed change. All right. Uh, pure water has been buffed. It now heals eight instead of six. And we finally go around to strawberry shortcake. Strawberries now heal based on strawberry shortcake's base heal. So instead of healing 60, it now heals at base 40. Again, this is a zero cost banish. And it's a retain. Right. So instead of healing 60, it now heals for base 40. But Strawberry Shortcake's heal can be... Heal value, I mean, can be increased through runes and charms. Well, maybe not runes, but charms for sure. So, yes. Robin nerf not enough? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, it will take 20 hits for it to cap out. It takes 20 hits to cap out as opposed to how many was it before? Uh, 100 divided by 4 is 25. Hmm. It used to need 25 hits. Oh, it needs... It needs 30 hits. And now, it, now he needs 30 hits to cap out. And the cap is a lot lower. Yeah, it needs 30 hits. It's a lot slower now. The only times that Robin would cap out would be against sustained teams and the the player would need to have holy prayer uh healing force to keep the robins alive until the opponents can kill it or something so yeah i think this is this is fine i think this is fine all right so there you go guys we just went through all of the card changes again to cap it off a lot 99.9 percent .9 of the changes are amazing i absolutely love them except for rosa except for rosa please sky mavis please i'm picking you Rosa needs initial. Rosa needs initial. It can't be allowed to be used as the last card. It cannot be allowed to be used as the last card. Please. Please. I beg you. Alright. That's it for the video. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you guys for watching. I will upload another video once the runes and charm changes are alive or revealed. And until then, this is Grice saying see you on the next video. All right. Bye guys.